Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Sagittarius I'm checking into your May right? Let's see what's coming at you in May in love whatever spirit wants you to know okay. Just take what resonates leave the rest behind reverse the roles if you have to Sagittarius right? And thank you so much everyone for all of your support. I love you guys. Um, I also want to remind everybody about the giveaway I'm having, okay? I'm giving away like seven different things, right? Um, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th, and um, I will show you everything at the end of your reading, okay? So stick with me to the end, Sagittarius, all right? Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius in May? Sagittarius in May sacred pool there's somebody that can't stop thinking about you like you, you, they are replaying something over and over in their head um i'm getting the sense that this person is like they're watching you too um they feel like they're in hermit energy you could be dealing with a virgo maybe a cancer pisces scorpio i feel like um Sagittarius, you're in the sacred pool, okay? And it just feels like to me like this person, they know they can't come towards you anymore. Okay, this could be a karmic individual or a divine masculine that has screwed up so bad with you in the past. Um, and I feel like you're very protected here as well in the sacred pool. Like nothing's going to reach you where you are, okay? Like this person can't reach you. Maybe they've tried to re reach you and you're not answering. You could have this person blocked off your phone, off social media. Yeah, look, they want to re rekindle this, okay? This is a person from your past that wants to reignite that spark. Okay, they're, right now they're going through some kind of like karmic storm. I'm just getting the sense that they're, um, they're in some kind of devastation right now. Uh, maybe they've got some major financial issues, possibly some health issues. This person, I feel like they've been aging like prematurely. They're get, getting gray hair. Maybe this person has a long beard. Um, so their health is being affected. Their vitality is being affected. Uh, their home, they could have some kind of like major issue happening with their home. Okay? They're about to get some big karma. And I feel like this person, they keep watching you. It's kind of creepy energy the way that they're watching you. The way that they're going over in their head. over. They're replaying something. It could have been something that you said. Um, it could have been your last moments together, the way that they walked away from you, but they know they're getting their karma for whatever they've done. Okay? I feel like their life is, there's a lot of destruction here. Things are coming apart for them. This person could have chose someone else over you, and um, that situation is failing. Okay, they want to come back around to you. Their life is not looking good right now, Sagittarius. It's not. I feel like this person is kind of praying for you, okay? They're praying for things to change, and they know that you can bring change into their life. You bring positivity into their life. Okay, and without you in it, I feel like everything is kind of spiraling out of control for this person. Okay, without you in their life. Yeah, you're the only joy that they have. You're the only person that brought joy. And it's like you, um, your energy is so light, uh, Sagittarius. And, and that positivity, that's what brought everything positive into this person's life. You are now away from them and protected. They can't reach you. And now their life is crumbling. It's out of control. You know? There's something very light and magical about your energy. You could have this... Um, kind of childlike quality about you um you do fun things you're really fun you um i feel like you 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 brought life into this person's world okay 
And now they, they are thinking about that. They're replaying something and they can't, they can't seem to let you go. Okay. This, you're on their mind constantly. This person could even be getting kind of delusional. All right. They can't cope with the fact that you're out of their life. It's causing them a lot of destruction in their life. Yeah, but this person, they know they didn't give you anything. They didn't give you any attention, affection. Uh, they gave you no communication. They've watched you walk a path alone. Um, I feel like this person hurt you, betrayed you. And um, they've been watching you heal. I'm also getting that this person doesn't want you with anybody else. Okay, they want to keep you kind of walking that path alone. You know, they want to come in and heal this with you. They want to try to make this right with you, but I feel like you're done. You're, I, I'm also seeing this as a leap of faith. You're starting new things now. You know, you're starting new adventures, meeting new people. This is a lot of newness. Okay, and spirit has you well protected from this person. So I know that they hurt you really bad. Yeah, their life is like a circus right now. When I first looked at this card, it looked like an arm was in a sling. So this person could be um, like, I don't know, they could have a break, broken arm or a broken wrist or something like that. That could be something that happens to them in the future. Now they're feeling isolated. I feel like this person wanted to keep you feeling isolated, but now it's them. They may want to come back around. That could be all that they're thinking about is coming back around and restarting this. But no, I don't see that. I don't see you doing that. I, I feel like you're moving on from this connection. I got to say, you're doing a lot of cleansing too. You could be taking spiritual baths, burning a lot of sage. You know, that's what I'm seeing here, a spiritual bath, a lot of sage smoke. Okay, just clearing your energy, switching your focus to other things, new things. You're wide open to receive. Okay, so yeah, you're starting a new life here without this person. The, now they want to come in and heal this. They feel like a clown. Um, they feel, they do, they feel like an absolute fool. You don't want to talk to them anymore. They can't come towards you. They're getting their karma. I feel like this person knows how they treated you. They could be replaying that in their head, you know, cleaning house. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that you're done. Um, you may, you're detaching. You're, you could be purging some things as well. Like if this person gave you any gifts or anything like that, you're probably getting rid of them. You're getting rid of anything that um, no longer resonates with you, okay? You're closing out a cycle here as well, clearing out that energy. So, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of cleansings, home cleansings, cleansing your auras. Um, you could even be doing something like a cord cutting here, okay? Yeah, and I feel like too this this person may be looking for you and they can't find you and they don't they can't find you anywhere. Maybe you're um very hard to find, okay? But I feel like you just kind of want to you like being alone. You like being um in solitude. Nobody's messing with you. There could be some childhood things that you may need to review and heal from still okay so i feel like you're still in like a healing stage because it's like you're open for new things but you still like your solitude you still um maybe you're waiting for new love to come in but you're still single I feel like uh, anybody new who comes towards you, anybody who comes towards you, you're going to be using discernment with, okay? What's this one? Commitment, because you want somebody who's going to commit. You want somebody who's going to be loyal, dedicated, and you're not going to accept anything less than that, okay? They need to be honest. They need to be loyal. They need to be dedicated. They need to be single, right? 
You're not going to accept anything less than that. But right now, I feel like you, you feel good being single. You like your alone time, you know? You're, and you're listening to the messages that you're getting from the divine as well. You could be spending a lot of, of time um, in the great outdoors, you know, nature, getting grounded, um, listening to spirit. I feel like you're really tapped in. Yeah, and you're, you know that uh, big changes are coming for you, right? <laughs> um, I feel like your life is about to start moving pretty quickly um you could even be being led to make some kind of house move or location change or you could be moving you know switching jobs something like that there's going to be a change here for you coming up in may maybe even a house move a location change or with this person having so much issues with their home uh, they may want to move in with you. So you can, you know, reverse that if you want. But you're closing out a cycle here. Yeah, you're done. Um, Dragon Slayer, give me one more. I feel like this person is going to want to come back from your past. And you kind of see them as, you know, um, a threat to your stability a threat to all of the progress you've made in your healing. Okay, this is why you're burning sage. You're, uh, you may even think that this person is doing some kind of magic spell on you as well, but I'm actually not really feeling that. Okay? Yeah, they're looking for you everywhere. Everywhere. And you're kind of hiding out. You like you don't want to bump into this person. This is why spirit wants you to move. Okay, make a make a location change, relocate, because I feel like um, it's time for you to live a a an, your new life here, and the universe wants to bring in everything that you are wide open to receive. Okay, but you've got to be able to leave your house and you know this person is in, they, they could be in your area like looking for you in order to get the kind of forward movement that spirit wants you to have. I feel like they may move you to a different location. It could be a different state, a different city, a different country. Yeah, big changes happening for you here, Sagittarius. I feel like spirit wants to lead you to a new love, to be honest. You know, this feels like twin flame kind of energy to me. You know, I feel like um, there's, there's big changes that are about to happen in your love life. Okay, um, it may require a move. And I feel like this person from your past, they can't come back in now. You are way too protected. They're not going to be able to reach you while you're in that sacred pool. Um, and I feel like spirit is protecting you. You're also, um, you're very abundant here. Like you've got, your money looks good. Your business looks good. Um, you may be protecting your abundance, your business, your money. Okay. Very protective worried about the kind of people that are out there okay worried about dating again because you've got so much to lose here i mean seriously you do you've created like a gold mine here for yourself sagittarius and you don't want it out there vulnerable to just anybody like you don't um some of you are are worried about letting new love in even though you're kind of you're kind of open to it you're still worried about it Okay, but I feel like somebody is coming into your life here soon that it's going to bring about a lot of change. Yeah, see, I feel like um, some of you are workaholics, okay? You spend a lot of time working, but I feel like, you know what, it's just, it's time for you to get out there. Yeah, at home, you could work from home. 
You're protecting your business. You're protecting your home. You're protecting your abundance. That's pretty much what this is. You're protecting your business, your home, and your abundance, and your heart. Okay? So you're going to be using some discernment, and you're definitely not going to be letting this person back into your, to your life or your energy. You're in the process of doing some cleansings right now. Yeah. Let's get a different deck. All right, what else can you show me for Sagittarius for May? So there's a person that from your past that wants to come back around, and in May, towards the end of May, um, I'm seeing a new person coming into the picture. All right, I'm seeing you doing a lot of healing and a lot of cleansing. Okay, I'm seeing you picking up on the energy, too, that someone new is coming in. It might make you nervous. Scales are being balanced out for you in your life. So um, I feel like your money's looking good, your business is looking good, and now spirit wants to get your romance looking good, okay? Yeah, you're, whatever you've been manifesting, I feel like is coming in for you in May. And I feel like it's love, okay? I feel like it's love. This person from your past, they're still going to be watching you, though, just so you know. So maybe keep things on the down low a little bit because they're going to want to come back around. They are. They're going to want to come back around. And if they see that you're with somebody new, um, they may try to get in the middle of that. They may try to sabotage that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just feeling like a big change is happening. Like, you know, here's the thing. You haven't really gotten all the answers or the justice that you wanted from being betrayed by this person in the past. But this change coming in, um, this change coming in, I feel like it's going to, it's going to turn your focus onto all the new things, right? Because you're getting love and money here. A lot of love, a lot of abundance coming towards you. And I feel like this is going to fill your life, your new life, to the point where you're no, really no longer concerned. Like, you're going to be able to let this go. You're going to be able to let it go. You're going to be able to let this person from your past go when all of this new star stuff comes in for you, okay? That's really what I'm getting. Yeah. Anyway, Sagittarius, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, you're about to get new love, and um, you may even hear from this past person. If nothing else, they may even try to contact you through a comment on social media. They may try to call you. I don't know. But I don't think that spirit is going to allow them near you. Sorry about that, Saggy. All right, so guys, that's what I have for your reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, and I'm going to clean up this mat and stick with me. I'm going to show you all of the details of the thank you giveaway right now, okay? Okay, everyone. So um, these are all of the awesome prizes that I have for this thank you giveaway, okay? Um, we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, a really popular deck for the giveaways. You guys, it's fun. Um, and we've got the Lightseers tarot deck. This, this is a very popular deck in, in tarot land out here on YouTube. Um, really great for intuitive readers as well. And we've got, of course, another chance to win the cat tarot. You guys, I include this in on pretty much all the, re all of the, um, giveaways. Okay. And then we've got, um, we've got a singing bowl that's um, just like mine. I think it's a little bit smaller than mine, but it comes with its own little satin pillow and a wand. All right, we've got the singing bowl. We've got the um, pendulum set, which I think is really nice. Honestly, um, these are really nice pendulums, you guys. One is um, uh, quartz crystal. 
It's got a really nice weight to it and it's pretty big for a pendulum. And this one is copper. And this one opens up, you can open it up, you can put little things in it, like maybe um, some um, holy water, you could put little pictures in it maybe, you could put um, little crystal chips in it, okay? So this is a really awesome pendulum, very, it's weighted so nice, and it comes with this um, really cool like board, okay, like an answer board. All right, so we've got the pendulum set. And then we've got this home cleansing set, okay? It's also called a smudge kit. It comes with a feather, uh, a sage stick, a chakra bracelet. Um, it comes with its own little wooden stand for this beautiful abalone shell. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so that is the smudge kit or home cleansing kit, however you want to put it. All right. And as a bonus prize, you guys, and I had to, I couldn't pass this up. I just couldn't. It's way too cute and adorable. This is the bonus lucky elephant. Okay. Um, it's hand carved out of amethyst and it, it needs a good home. So who wants the bonus lucky elephant? Please, please. Um, I, I hope he goes to a, a good home. Anyway, um, to enter to win any of this awesome, uh, any of these awesome items, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the item that you want to win in the comment section below. That's all you got to do. And then we're, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. Um, enter to win one of these great prizes. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.